Today is Thursday. It is August 25th, 2022. It is also day 402 of web development. And today I'm going to take this 3D model teddy bear that I made on the spline. Um, and I'm just going to be embedding it into a landing page that I'm going to be working on today. So um, I'll start with doc type HTML, letting my browser know that I'm writing in HTML5. Then I'll put in my HTML tags. Um, and every tag has to have an ending tag, not all of them, but most mostly all of them there's a few exceptions and then it's uh the html is made up of two things the head and the body so the body uh the head you can think of it as like back end information just like in your head you would have like information that's just needed for you to understand things and then the body is what like people see um of you so it's like just the appearance so basically what you see on the screen is what's going to be inside the body tags um i'll focus on the head tags later but for the body um i'm going to do div and I'll give it a class container, and that's gonna contain everything on my site. And I'm gonna to go to CSS, and then just real quick do dot container to target it. So I target classes by using dots, and then giving it a rule, um, and a rule's made up of two things, a property and value. So the border is a property, and then the values are five pixels solid, and then black line border. Um, so then I would also want to give it a height rule, so uh, 100 VH, vertical height of the screen would be good. And then I notice that there's spacing um, around the container. So to get rid of that, I'll just use the everything selector because some browsers come with default margin and uh, padding. So I'll just zero that out. And then I'll also do box sizing, border box, and that just helps with the responsiveness of the site. So for example, if you were to just uh, give like a div a padding, the div would get bigger if you don't have um, box sizing border box but if you do that then the stuff inside would get smaller and the div wouldn't change the size which is kind of good depending on what you're doing and so in the container i'm going to have a div class um i'm going to have let's see i'm gonna have a showcase and that's going to contain well i'm going to have a showcase and a header so i'll do div class header and the header is going to contain a logo. So I'll do um, ID logo. And then it's going to be like an H1 tag, so like a heading. So it's going to say logo. And I'm just going to leave it like that. And then it's also going to contain a nav bar. So I'll do class nav bar, which is going to be my navigation bar. And it's going to contain like all of my links. So like a list of links. So for me, um, that would be an unordered list, and each unordered list has a list item. So I'll do the unordered list, and then within it, I'll do a list item, which I would want to contain an A tab, which is going to lead to nowhere, and is called a link. So that would be like your link tag. All right, and then I'll just copy and paste that a few times. And then lastly, um, what am I missing? So the showcase itself is going to have two things. So I'm just going to do div class wrapper to wrap those two things. Um, and those two things are going to be one, the content. So div class, oops, content. And it's also going to be the um, 3D model. So div, oh, the 3D model, I'm just going to go here, export, and then copy the embedded. Um, and then I probably should do div class 3D or just do like dev, uh, class model and put that in here and just paste that in there. It's an iframe. And so the content back to it, I'm going to do a H1, call it just like a heading for now. Um, I'll do like a paragraph, a P tag that has like lorem. So actually, let me just get rid of that. Just like says something. For now if i could ever spell that correctly and then i'll do a form so that they can like put their email in or something um so a form and then like an input inside with like the type email so that it would be email responsive and then the placeholder which is going to be the text inside um it's going to say email yeah, so, oh, this is a perfect example. See, this tag doesn't need a closing tag. I believe it's a semantic tag, which is why um, it doesn't need a closing tag, just like the image. Um, okay, what else do I need? Oh, I need a button. So now I'll do 
a href and then leads to nowhere i'm going to call it button and then i'm going to give all of my buttons or all of my a tags um, a class of link and i'm going to give this one specifically an id of btn because i'm going to access it uh, individually later and so i'll go back here just kind of copy this and paste that into these over here there we go and that's pretty much it from html now let's get to the fun part so i'm going to do header and i'm going to give it a border five pixels black solid i'm going to give it a height of 80 pixels because that's usually the height that i give it and then the background i'm going to give it the background of let's say what's the color that i used here is that the color that i used Hashtag, paste that in there. All right, or maybe I want to use the other color. Hold up. All right, sure. And then, um, so uh, the header currently contains the logo and the navigation bar. So I want them to be side by side. So I'll just go to the header and make it a flex container. So display flex. And what that's going to do is going to move all the things to be in the same row. So any like flex item, Right, so you have your flex container, which is a header, and the flex item would be your logo, and another flex item would be your navigation bar. So when you set the header to be uh, display flex, you're setting it as a flex container. And so anything in a flex container is automatically by default going to be in the same row because it has this property called flex direction. Whoops. That is set to row. If I were to change it to column, it would be back to how it was in the same, like top, on top of each other. But by default, it's set to row, so that does that, and we don't even need that, again, because by default, it's set to row. So, but here's another problem. I don't want them to be all the same, um, what do you call it, um, next to each other. So I could do another flex property, which is justify content, and then just put space in between. And that's going to literally put space in between the two flex items, which is the logo and the navigation bar. But here's another problem. I don't want them to be all the way towards the edges, and so what I'll do is I'll just give a padding um for the header itself of let's say zero pixels top and bottom but maybe 50 pixels left and right so that there's they just come closer and then another problem i see that the links themselves have the same problem that the, the header had um in the beginning which is that they're all in the same row so i have to go to my html and be like okay where do, where are my links my links are inside the ul so i have to make the ul a flex container so i'll do dot nav bar ul and then the reason I'm doing that is because the nav bar comes first and then the UL. All right, so back to here, and then I'll just do, give it a border first of all so I can see what's going on. So let me do red solid. Um, so I'll see that, and then I can just do display flex, and by default, it's gonna have everything go to the same row. Now, um, I would want to maybe do a gap of maybe two EM, which is equivalent to 32 pixels. Um, now to get rid of the bullet points that's actually a list style um property or a list item property um so i'll have to target the list item so nav bar ul li because again if i go to my html that's how it's written first is a nav bar then the ul then the li all right back to this i'll just set the list style to none and that removes the bullet points and then to get rid of the underline that's an a tag property so by now you get the hang of it and then just remove, just set text decoration to none because right now it's set to underline and that removes the underline. And then the color is also an A tag, so I would change that to white. Um, or actually black because I'm actually going to change the background to be white. And then give that a padding of 10 pixels top and bottom, 20 pixels left and right. And then now here's another problem. The links are all the way on the top and you might ask why? Well, let's look at the nav bar itself. Let me give it a border. So the nav bar can have a border of five pixels solid green. So this is what the nav bar looks like. You can clearly see that the UL, which is the red box, is above. And so to fix this, I can just give the dis uh, a display of flex to the navigation bar and then just move it down by doing justify content center and then align items center 
All right, there we go. So a line item center moves it down vertically, justify content moves it horizontally. Um, okay, so that's literally it for that. And let's um, notice that I targeted the links, but another way I could do this is just by doing dot link, because again, all the A tags have the um, link class. So that doesn't change anything, but it makes it easier. So you know, I don't have to rewrite it for this uh, button down here. Now that's it for the navigation bar, except the logo, which I completely forgot about. The logo itself, um, it's an ID. So I use hashtags for that to target IDs. Let's do five pixels white solid. Um, I would also give it a display of flex and then just do align item center to move it downwards um, at the center. Beautiful. And then the color white could be good. Um, or maybe I could just change it to black. Wait, why is it? Okay, whatever. Um, so that's that. That's it for the navigation bar now uh, before I start changing any text. Moving on to the showcase. The showcase, I'll give it a border of five pixels, let's say like blue solid. And that's it. So I want it to have a height of 100% of the container. And um, yeah, that's literally it. So let's move on to the wrapper now, which is the next thing inside the showcase. I'll give this a border of five pixels, red solid. All right, so that's the wrapper. I would also want this to have 100% of the height, right? And then, yep, that's it for that. And then let's move on to the actual content. So I can give that a border, probably do blue, oops, here, and then I'll do the iframe. Actually, I think I have a model here. All right, beautiful. So let me just do, what's a good color, yellow? All right, so my, I have a blue box. Um, inside the red box. Maybe I should do another color then, brown. All right, so I have my brown box and my yellow box. And so that's what I'm trying to figure out. So right now I want them to be on the same row, like next to each other. So I'll make the red box, which is the wrapper and give that, um, I'll make it a flex container by giving a display of flex. And now everything inside, which is the flex items are going to be in the same row. Cause by default, again, flex direction, direction is set to row. But um, here's the thing, maybe I want my content to be a little bit bigger. So real quick, I'll just do dot content and target the H1 and give it a font size of maybe 10 vertical minimum. All right, and then I'll do the same thing for the, well, I don't want the paragraph to be the same thing. So I want it to be slightly smaller. So I'll do um P and then I'll do like, five, maybe half of that. And then, yeah, so I could also give the content a width of 50, not 50 pixels, 50%. All right, and then also give the model a width of 50%. Beautiful. And that's taking up pretty much everything. And then, um, now what? Oh yeah, I'm gonna take the content and give it a display of flex. So that's gonna mess things up a bit because by default, again, flex direction is set to row and I'll have to overwrite that and change it to column because the way that I want it is to have all those elements on top of one another. And then um, I'll just do justify content center and then align items center to center that within the brown box. Okay, um, actually, let me get rid of this. I think that's fine. All right, and then I'm gonna try to come up with something. So maybe like, let's see, what would be like a good heading? Let me go to my HTML and try to fix that now. So maybe something like, by like, I don't know, something about toys, let me think. All right, so I'm thinking something along the lines of like a child's birthday party. So maybe like give your child an experience of a lifetime 
experience, give your child um, the experience of their lifetime. An experience of the experience of their lifetime. Period. Give your child the experience of their lifetime. And then maybe the paragraph would be like, um, uh, let's see, like, um, RSVP for a virtual, virtual birthday party? No, that would be funny. Um, RSVP for, RSVP to join, have your kids birthday party have your kids birthday party here that doesn't make sense um let me think what could i i'm trying to offer like a 3d experience give your child the experience how do you spell experience so smart All right, give your child the experience of the li of their lifetime or experience of the life. I don't even know. Give your child the experience of their lifetime. Um, have give your child the experience of their life, or maybe like I'll be like, don't know what to do. Tired of the boring things that you do at your birthday party. I don't know how to say this. So maybe I'll do like let me copy this and delete it. So then I'll do like um. Tired of doing the same thing for your child's birthday every year. And then over here, I'll be like, give your child the experience of their lifetime. Or maybe give your child the experience of their lifetime with our 3D, our virtual, our 3D, no our virtual 3D experience. I don't want to use experience two times. Um, um, give it, give your child the, why is this so hard? Okay, so maybe I'll do give your child the experience of their lifetime with our virtual reality birthday package. Birthday package does that make sense tired of doing the same thing for your child's birthday every year give your child the experience of their lifetime with our virtual reality with our birthday virtual with our virtual reality birthday package oh you know what it doesn't it's not that deep i'm gonna just leave it like that and then um maybe go to name what's going on name flicks is it name flicks and then oh it's name licks okay and then just do like birthday to get like a, a logo Whatever, just generate something. Um, nope. No. How about like V Day? Oh no, that's never mind. Um, let's think. Okay, how about B Day? Oh no, that's obviously birthday. Am I dumb? Um, how about like I'm trying to think like virtual day, like virtual reality. Um, how about I just do day b day b day -a. birthday bretta birth dave that's funny um i'm trying to see what would be a good name how about like um where's my code how about <laughs> imagine it was like beardum like are you beardum do you have beardom? Are you bored? Do you have boredom? That's funny. All right. Um, I'm trying to think. What would be a good logo? All right. I think I'm going to go with just like mid fun. Maybe that sounds fun. Get it? Fun. Mid fun could work. Maybe. Um, all right. So let me save that. I'll just. Oh, God. Okay. Let me open it in debug mode so I can see what it's looking like here. Okay. So that's one thing um what else am i doing here um maybe just give like the h1 let me start with the fonts so i'll do google fonts <clears throat> and then i use 
Lado and Roboto Slap. So I'm just going to copy the link here. Like, just search it up and, like, add it to the car and then just copy the link. And then I'm going to go, where's my code? Go to the head tag and just paste it in there. And basically what that's doing is just, it's, like, citing your sources. Um, so just like in English class, you have, you have to cite your sources for the information that you put. You know, CSS is looking for that source. Just like your teacher is looking for where you got your information, CSS is looking where you, you're getting that font from. And this is how you would cite the font like this is where I'm getting the font is basically what you're trying to say um and now when you use that uh font so I'm going to use the bottom one real quick and then go back here and I'm going to go to the content h1 if I could ever find it um over here and just paste that in there uh paste that in here also and then definitely just really just move that down a bit all right, so it's looking something like this. I'm tired of doing the same thing for your child's birthday every year. I feel like that's too much, but whatever. Um, I also maybe want to give. What do I want to do? Oh, some mar some some padding, or maybe some margin, um, to the wrapper. Let me try to do that real quick. So I'll do wrapper, and then do margin. Twenty pixels. So it's something like that. And definitely go to the content H1 and do margin bottom to have some space between the H the actual H1 and the uh paragraph. Maybe 10 pixels. And then do that same thing for the paragraph. Alright, and then the button for that I can target by doing hashtag BTN because I did give it an ID of BTN. And I'll just change the background to be the same color as, um, where is it? This one. Was it this? Um, as the header. So I paste that in there. And then when I hover, what just happened? Okay. And then definitely get the width um, of maybe 90 pixels. All right. And then... Real quick, I just realized I should target the dot, not the dot input, it's just that, and then margin bottom 10 pixels also. Um, and then, all right, let me just move this up here because it's more over here and do that. And then when I hover over the button, I want the background color to change to a darker color. And then that would probably end up being this color. Hashtag, put that in there. Now when I hover over it, it turns darker. Beautiful, okay. I'm gonna do the same thing for the top one. So I'm gonna go back to the links. Um, and then when I hover over the links, the background color, I want it to change to like a slight white color like a gray. Um, so that's like E six times. So that works. And then let me just change what it says now. So like home, birthdays, um, contact. That's not how you spell contact. Um, and then maybe like home, birthdays, and then maybe what else could there be? Um, just like a daily pass, day pass, a day pass. Or maybe just like a daily pass. Nope, how about a day pass? Did I reload? All right. So that's what it's looking like right now. Um, and then definitely have to work on the input so let me go to css what is going on with this thing um so css and then go to the input which i just did over here definitely change the width to be 100 percent um so that's good right could probably be 20 pixels or 25 you know that would be good or not, let's do 30. 
Nope, let's do, how about 40 pixels? Do that. I feel like it needs to be bigger. Or maybe not that big. Oh my god. Alright, I guess that's fine. And then the button definitely has to be bigger, so maybe... <sighs> Let's see. The width could be 50% instead, and I'll just create, just like I did yesterday, I'll do two buttons. So I'll go back to my HTML, and then just do like a div, class, and then just do buttons, and then end that there. And then I'll just copy this and add that there. And now I can just do, let's see, dot buttons, give it a border, five pixels, black, solid, so I can see it, um, and then just definitely have it be, let's see, not the model. Wait, oh yes, the model, hold up. I'm like so lost right now. The width, and then I need to give this, I think, an idea of BTN two. So then I go here and just do BTN two. Um, 50%, 50%. So why is it not working? Interesting. Uh, what if I set the button what to be 100%? No? Okay, that's great. Um, let me do comma hashtag BTN2. Probably should do the same thing for this one too. So hashtag BTN2. Why is it like that? Oh. Um, There we go. All right, and then I'm just not sure why it's not going towards like 100%, it's so weird. So 50%, 50%, the width of the buttons themselves. Um, okay, I could change what they say. So one could be like, Give your child the experience of their lifetime with our virtual reality birthday package. And then I could be like, sign up. Um, sign up, or I can look like, explore packages. Explore packages or like sign up. But probably it should be the opposite. All right, I'm just not sure why. All right, let's just do font size. Five vertical minimum. Whoa, okay. Um, definitely have some space. So how about I just go to the buttons themselves, give it a display of flex, and then just do, oh, now it works, really? Give it a gap of... 2 a.m. Beautiful. And then definitely do text align center for the buttons. So that goes in the center. Beautiful. And then definitely change the um, font size. All right. So that's good. And I probably should change the color of one of them. Um, so instead of, um, I don't know, which one should I change the color of? Maybe the explore packages. So I'll go here. Instead of um, button two, oh, wrong one. So I'll leave button two and then just go here. And then for hashtag BTN, which is the original one, I'll just give it a border instead of that color. So five pixels solid, and then just have a border of that color. 
right? So now it's looking like that, but then I don't want a hover effect. Um, or do I want a hover effect? Maybe not, I don't know. Um, it's so weird. Now that it doesn't have a background color, it's acting. Oh, it's because, okay. Forgot to add that there. Just add all of these things too. All right, and so that fixes that. But then when I hover over it, I just want the border to be that color here. So let me just click on this, click on this, paste it in there. Oh no, hold up, no. Um, what I want is to get this down here and then put this, copy this, paste that in there and just change it to this color. So now when I hover over, oops, the link background though is there, which sucks. So instead of, um, let's see, I could do background. Set that to none so that it doesn't turn gray. There we go. So weird. Huh. All right, let me get rid of the uh, borders now so that things look not that bad. Um, so, get rid of this border of the container, the border of the header, the border of the nav bar UL. Um, the border of the navigation bar itself, the border of the logo, the border of the showcase, the border of the wrapper, the border of the content, and then where's the iframe? The model. All right, paste it in there. All right, and then definitely we'll have to move this up and then towards the right. Oh my god, and then I forgot to get the borders of the buttons also. Oh, nope, not that type of border. That's a needed border here. Where did the border go? Oh my god, why do I do this? All right, there we go. Um, I don't even know. Okay, let me just move it towards the... Uh, right, so that would be the wrapper. So the wrapper... Let me go here. That would be, let's say, margin. Let's say from the left, 50 pixels, 150 pixels. Okay, that's better. And then from the top, and then from the top, let's see. Um, negative 50 pixels. Okay, maybe not that much, but that's... All right, and then I'll target the model itself and just literally do margin. Or maybe I could do position relative. And then from the top, 50 pixels. So it's going to be relative to the... uh. What do you call it? The, um, why am I so like, I forget everything. The, the wrapper or not the wrapper, the, yes, the wrapper. Yeah. Perfect. So that's good. Um, I don't know if this looks good. At least it's something and the placeholder definitely have to fix that. So the placeholder would be in the input. So in order to target the placeholder, which is actually an attribute in HTML, I just have to do double of those placeholder. Just change the font size to be, I don't know, what am I changing the uh, font size? Three, vertical minimum. All right. And then I would probably give the input itself padding on the inside of like 20 pixels. All right. So that happens there. And then how would I change? Let me Google it. How to change font size of input text. Not the placeholder, but... The font size. No duh, but like how? No, that's not it.
Um, okay. Oh, is it, is it, oh my god, literally, is that it? Am I, why am I doing this? Like, honestly, why do I do this to myself? Font size, I just had to, so smart, like, totally, totally smart, sorry. Font size, three vertical minimum, so that when I type, right, beautiful, there we go. Why did I not think of that? Like, am I okay? All right, um, tired of doing the same thing for your child's birthday every year? Or maybe it's just tired of doing the same thing for your child's birthday? Because every year, that's, like, not needed because your the birthday's only once a year. So, let me delete that. Um, and then I should probably, I don't know, is that fine? Okay, I guess it's fine. Um, definitely give some more margin, so, like, spacing between the content. So, um, let's do 15 pixels. Something like that. Same thing over here. Paste that in there. All right. And then the last thing I would want to do is um the the font for the links. So let me go to my code pen, copy like that from Google Fonts, right? And then just go to the links. Um, and just paste that in there. Save that, and then you can see the links change so like the font size for the links actually all right and then yeah um oh and the last thing is the logo i need that to move all the way so that to the right so it aligns with tired so let me do that um so logo and then i'll just do like actually i wouldn't do it to the logo i would do it to the header um and then just give it padding from the left of like 80 pixels until like, okay, how about 180? Until it just moves towards like the tired. All right, 150, that looks good. Beautiful, mid fun, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I'm not sure if I should make the font size bigger for that logo. So let me look, logo, um, and I can do font size. Uh, I don't know what font size. Let's do five vertical minimum. Oh god, no. Three? Alright. Okay, no, maybe two. Okay, wrong thing. Alright, I guess that's good. And then we have that going on for us. Um, and yeah, so this is... Oh! Okay, then, that's great. How about, because this is the problem, how about I just, instead of it moving, instead of doing margin for the, um, for what, the content? Not the content, it was the wrapper, right? I did margin from the top. Maybe I could just do position relative, so it's going to end up being responsive. And then from the top, 30 pixels, was it negative 30 pixels or 30 pixels? All right, and if I do this, oh, it isn't that lovely. So how about I just make a media query to make it responsive? So media, when it's max width 800 pixels, then I would want the, um, the wrapper to have a margin zero, padding zero. Let me see. Oh, from the top, zero. Oh, it's that one reloaded. Right, still same thing. Um, how would I fix that? Let me think. So I would do, hmm. Okay, so maybe from the top. From the top. 50 pixels. 
why does it do this? Okay, how about 30 pixels? Because that's the opposite of what I know, because then that would be less. 100 pixels? What in the world? Is this thing okay? Am I targeting the right thing? That's the question. Um, it's the wrapper, so max width 800. Is it because it's not 800 yet? Oh, it's because it wasn't 800 yet. Oh, how irritating. Well, either way, let me go and do the wrapper, actually. I think it's a... I could just do flex wrap so that the flex items wrap around each other when it hits 800 pixels. But it's not even working. What the... Is it not the wrapper that has this? Okay, display flex. Yeah, why is it not working? Because I know it's hitting 800 pixels. Flex wrap wrap. Let me do control shift I and then see when it doesn't get responsive. Um, wrong thing. How do I go to the bottom again? Bottom. All right. So this is. So about like 970. All right, there we go, now it's working. Beautiful. But then I would need this to have a max width though. And then the last thing is generally this like flex wrap. Like, I don't know why it's not working. So the wrapper should have, it's containing the content and everything else. So shouldn't it? wrap when it gets too small hmm and it's not doing it okay let's forget about that then um let's see maybe move it to the top a little bit more so let's do How about negative 80? Okay, and then for the model, I would have to bring it down more. Um, so like 70. All right. And then that does it for that. And then I just, I don't know, the it's not working, like the responsiveness stuff. It should be working though. Um, I'm not sure why this is not working. It's so weird. So like once it hits like honestly maybe change it to a thousand because what what would be this size? Control shift I. It would be like a thousand three hundred. So let me do that then. A thousand three hundred pixels. Save that. Reload. Oh no, that's too much. I think maybe a thousand would be fine. Or a thousand one hundred. And maybe not that much. Ugh, why does it do this? It's so annoying. And then this is too much. So I don't even know what to do. All right, as long as it doesn't do anything crazy. And then my thing is, I'm trying to get this thing to the bottom once it gets too short, and I can do that with flex wrap, but for some reason that's not working. So we're going to have to figure that out. So the wrapper, let me see, the model and the content is inside the wrapper. And the wrapper has, okay, what if I just do justify content center? Align items center. 
and then do flex wrap. Set that to wrap. What did, oh my God. What is going on? Okay, definitely no for this. Reload that. And then this is why we need borders. All right, and then I would go to the top here and really quickly get a meta tag, and that's just gonna make it be more responsive, but mostly on the phone though. So it's just saying, hey, the width of the screen should be equal to the width of the device that you're using. As long as the initial scale is 1.0, get that done. All right, I'm just really trying to figure this out right now. What is going, this thing is just going crazy. All right, so you know what? Let me forget about that real quick and just change this today. Or no, not today, to just like passes. There we go, passes, birthdays. Okay, now back to the problem. All right, you know what? When in doubt, give everything a border. So I just didn't want to do that again. So I'll go to the wrapper, give that a border, five pixels, black solid, and then give the content and the model a border, blue, and then I'll do red. Oh my god, that's so bad. All right, um, the wrapper, maybe to fix that, I would do height, and it'd be height, main content. No, that's not it. Um, is there such a thing as max content? I wish there was. All right, um, not even sure. So height, 100% of its, of the showcase, and then I'm trying to see what I would do here. So the wrapper, if I do flex wrap wrap, why isn't it wrapping? It's literally not wrapping. Flex wrap wrap. Like it's literally not wrapping. Um not working. Let's see, you need to use max width instead of width on the container. You have to allow the container to shrink for the items to wrap. Are you serious? Okay, so... Oh, because it doesn't have a width? Are you kidding me? This is horrible. It's like actually horrible. Um, I don't want that. Look, oh my god, that's horrible. How about I just, okay, where's the header, first of all? Let me fix that. So width, 100%. See what that gives me? So it doesn't even give me anything. What is wrong with this stuff? Um... And content, I know that wouldn't work. Really, is there no such thing as max content? That would be like 100%, but that doesn't work, which is great. If I do position relative to the container, will it work? Nope, that's great. Um, yeah, that's a no. All right, so no position relative, and then how about I just do 90%? Are you serious? 
so close to being done and then you're not done. It's great. All right. Um, okay. So the container height, and then maybe it's because it doesn't have a width 100 WH. No, that's insane. Oh, this is so annoying. 100. You're kidding me. How about no width? Now the margin is messed up. Like, what did I do? So let me get rid of this. And then what else did I mess up? Because now the margin for the header is not even there. You're kidding me. I was padding. It's right there. Like, what is wrong with this thing? Are you serious? Okay, whatever. Um, all right, so... Is this thing not... Oh, is it because I set the iframe to be relative to something else? Where is it though? So if I give, if I remove this, will it work? It's literally not working, bro. Like, are you serious? Flex wrap wrap. Like, there is no reason for this to be working. Not working. Where's the wrapper? All right, height 100% with 100% and then flex wrap. Is it because it's positioned relative? What if I remove that also? Nope, still not working. All right, um, I kid you not, I don't even know why it's not working. Is it because I spelled something wrong? All right, display, flex, margin 20 pixels, margin left, position relative. If I got rid of all of this, would it work? Nope, that's great. Honestly, maybe I should just leave it like that. What does it say again? You need a max width instead of a width on the container. So do I just change it to max width? Like what? Nope, still not working. What if I get rid of this? Nope. This has never happened before. Oh, there's a new time for everything. What else did they say? You have a flex container set to width 800 pixels. The container has three <laughs> items um, set to flex one, which is shorthand for flex grow. This means that the actual width of each item is zero. Flex space is zero in each item. So what does it say? You sized in each to be one third of the space, whatever that may be. Therefore, each item can shrink to width zero and they will never wrap. If you add content or width and flex spaces to one or more items and the items go to eight to see 100 pixels, you're then blah, blah, blah. What? If you add content, where is the flex spaces? Um. Mm. Let me just search. All right, so I saw something about like flex basis and adding that to the stuff. Oh, well, okay. And then, um, what's the other thing that I have for content? Oh, 
What in the world? This has never happened before. And then this is where justify content and align items would come into play. So justify content center. Align items center also. So if I reload that, that happens. Oh my god. Um, and then this is messed up. So I would need to give this a certain height instead. I could give the model um, a height. That's because I never gave it a height. 100%. There we go. So now if I do that, it's working, kind of. And then I could definitely go to the wrapper now. And give that a height. I can't do like um, 100% because then everything else won't work. But I guess like that's what's gonna happen here. Um, I could just go here and get rid of that. Alright, so maybe from the top, 1000 pixels, and then what if I do negative 1000 pixels? Literally does nothing. Alright, um, how about 2000? I lose it downwards, but it really does nothing, man. Like, but that's, oh wait, no, yeah, that's the wrapper here. So it has from the top negative 80 pixels. And if I do like negative 90, it's gonna move it upwards. And then, um, let's see. So just to have it this way, I would need to do that. But then anything else like this needs to just go downwards. So like once it reaches all of that, that this stuff just needs to go zero. So from the top, zero. There we go. Oh my god, are you serious right now? Could have told me that before. All right. Um, but then this is a problem. So how about like 300 reload and then now if I do that, so I'll probably have to increase this to maybe 500. There we go. But if I'm, if I'm full screen, that happens. So that's good. It's at the center until like this point. So I need to be maybe more than that and just keep twitching the values. And even more than that. So weird. Okay, there we go. And so now it's still in the middle. And if I do this, automatically. Alright, so that's beautiful. Alright, good, good, good. And then this would definitely have to be is there any way to just give it like a width and height oh my god um okay but at the end of the day i got it to be responsive i just need to move this no way hold up let me get rid of the borders again for the five thousand time um so border here and then border for the wrapper and the content and then see what that looks like. All right, so that's what it's looking like. And then I would have, to, I don't know why the logo is all the way to the left again, but wait, because that has to do with the header. So then padding left, let's do 180 pixels. All right. Oh, this is definitely a problem. This is a problem. I feel like it definitely at least has to be like maybe 
from the top 20 pixels. Just a little bit downwards would be good. And then, I guess that's fine. Reload, not this again. All right, let me just open this up again and move the logo because I don't know why it keeps doing that. Not the logo, the header. Um, what, what do I need to do? Like 200 pixels? Oh, because that's... Oh. Oh. So what was it in the beginning? It was 150, right? So 150 stays like that. And then, okay, this sucks. Um, how about I just do like 260 here, right? Or like 250, would it be double? No, it would be like 200 maybe. All right, maybe just 210. All right, and then go over here and just do like, when the width is 1,800, just have that be the case. All right, and now it should always be aligned this way, which is pretty good. And then let's see, probably need some more padding, like 50 pixels here. Or maybe just like even a lot more, like 80. Right. And then definitely have this be here. I'm just trying to get it so that it would be um, loaded and I'm able to see it. Like, kind of like, not that. I don't even know. Just kind of see it. Not that big. I don't even know. Honestly, um, it's okay. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Well, I did get it to be as responsive as I could get it. it took me five hours, but it's okay. Um, let me just go to the header and um, not this one. Just move this a little bit more, like 220 maybe. All right, and that's it. I think for today. So yeah, and it's. It's as responsive as I could get it compared to the previous days. So, yep, that's that's that. As, um, yeah. I'm not even going to bother with the navigation bar. That's, that's all I'm doing today. Anyway, bye.